tried every Google certificate on Coursera, and some were honestly just a waste of time. But others were really good with millions of learners, and these five Google certs actually work. They can help you get a job without experience if you do it right. Number one. Google launched their first data analytics cert back in March 2021, and since then, it's become one of their most popular courses. A data analyst is an entry-level position without experience or education required, but it's gotten very competitive, and since the release of the first data analytics cert, the job market has been flooded with people. So Google launched their advanced data analytics cert, teaching you more practical skills like Python to help you stand out. The curriculum is simple. An introduction to data, some Python programming, more data stuff and statistics, and also a tiny bit about machine learning, and finally a capstone project, putting everything together and then building your portfolio. All right, number two, IT or information technology is a vast field covering computers and everything around them. Systems, programming languages, software, information, etc. That's all a part of IT. And Google Cert teaches you about computers and how to help people with their computer problems. While other careers are seeing layoffs, IT support has thousands of open jobs in the US alone. And you can start with zero experience. And the program has about 2 million students and a 4.8 rating, which makes it actually better than the Eiffel Tower. It takes six months of study at 10 hours per week, or roughly speaking. Although friends of mine actually finished it in just two to three months while they were working a full-time like regular job as well. So it's definitely doable faster. You don't need to work in IT support though. And these skills are very versatile no matter what you want to do in IT. So it is really a perfect course if you're looking to break into any aspect of IT, really building that solid technical foundation. For example, you'll need these skills for cybersecurity. And up next is the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. With over 700,000 students within the first two years, you just cannot miss this one. The median salary in cyber, meaning what most people make, is around 122,000 per year. Now, Money isn't everything, as we all know, but if money is your goal at the moment, then you might want to consider cyber. So let's take a look at the curriculum, right? The program consists of eight separate courses, starting with the basics of kind of cybersecurity, then how to manage risks and understand networks and securing them. And as you might notice, many initial concepts will overlap with Google's IT support course. So if you do happen to know the computer and kind of networking basics, you're, you'll be able to just breeze through or even skip the first part of this course. The next few sections go deeper into cyber and also cover some Python programming. Now, Python is used a lot in cyber and also various other fields, and it's a very good programming language and skill to know. And the last course in the program is not about learning, but about job preparation. This is always my favorite part, making your learnings turn into actual job opportunities, because you can keep learning forever, but it's not going to land you a job until you actually focus on job preparation. Now, I do have some bad news, and I want to be a source that you can trust, so I do need to bring some bad news from time to time. So here we go. Cybersecurity is a very competitive field, and this course course alone is not going to be enough to get a job, right? Instead, I would use this course as kind of a foundation. And then after you can look into different recognized certifications like Security Plus from CompTIA and also focus on building a portfolio because that's how you really get hired in cyber. Although this is a great way to start learning some of the skills. Number four, we've covered tech already and that's because it's in really high demand and it pays extremely well. But the next one, number four, works even for the least technical person even if you just hate computers. Google's Project Management Certificate has nearly 2 million enrollments and a 4.8 rating out of 5. Like the rest, it's self-paced and can be finished part-time in less than 6 months. Now, project management is about managing projects. Wow! And every team needs a direction, somebody to lead them down the right path. And what you'll do is basically plan execute and then follow up on the project. You'll also be covering some agile mythology, which is basically used for managing projects across a lot of organizations today. And agile basically means the ability to create and respond to changes. Because in today's dynamic and very complex environments, project managers need to adapt to ever-changing conditions and also do it quickly, which is where Agile comes in. Now, there's also a capstone project, a realistic scenario, giving you confidence and something to actually put in your future portfolio. So definitely don't skip any of the capstone projects. All right, so are you ready for the big question? 
Who should take this course? Obviously, somebody looking to become a project manager, but in my opinion, also for other business roles. Many of these skills are extremely valuable over there too. And I've personally taken the first two courses and I found them to be absolutely excellent. All right, so now let's cover course five, which is Google UX design. UX means user experience. And Instagram is a pretty good example, right? Much of its success comes from its great design. Although it's not just about the visuals, but about being a good overall experience for the end user. So anyway, the course starts with UX basics, process and creating prototypes. And you're going to learn UX research and design and testing as well. One of the tools you'll be working with is Figma, which is very popular in UX and it's going to look great on your resume. And finally, in the course, you'll also cover how to build user interfaces for websites yourself, as well as a capstone project and also some guidance on building your portfolio. I do really like the curriculum, introducing you to so many different aspects about UX, while of course also giving you some time to learn the tools. Now, I hate to break it to you, but this career is unfortunate in a bit of a crisis right now. Would you say it's time for everyone to panic? There are people saying UX is very competitive and extremely hard to get a job in and something that you should avoid entirely. And it's true to some extent, I'm not gonna lie. UX is very competitive because of its high salary and people find the career to be quite interesting, right? So it's become a trend and that's why it's so overcrowded. So does that mean that you should avoid it? Well, there are people breaking into UX every single day and you shouldn't be discouraged just because it's harder than some of the other jobs or because somebody from a YouTube video told you that. Assuming, of course, it's what you really wanna do because it's gonna take a little bit more extra work than some other careers that I have on the list. After doing this course, I would say that continue building your portfolio as that is crucial for jobs in UX. Yeah, you're gonna be introduced to, you know, a few projects and start building a basic portfolio, but you need to take that one step further. Now, which one is your favorite? And I'm gonna leave a link in the description to any discounts that I can find. And I also cover more certificates to help you get a high paying job in this video next. This is the best time to start and the video is right on the screen somewhere. I have no idea, but somewhere over there.